Number 15. Act of Revenge Have you ever seen some bizarre stuff at your place of work? You might have been if you work at the Hello Pizza Takeaway in Liverpool, England. Authorities suspect this act of aggression was an act of revenge. In August of 2017, a man wearing a hood tossed a box of pyrotechnics into the Hello Pizza shop. They were lit, of course, causing the staff to try to flee the scene. CCTV footage caught the whole thing. As the suspect opened the door, placed the box inside, and swiftly shut the door behind him before racing off, staff sought cover before the pyrotechnics went off. One member of the staff jumped over the counter in order to head to the kitchen. Since the only way out was blocked by the box, the pyrotechnics are then seen erupting near the entrance. They go across the walls and ceiling, while the employees safely hide in the kitchen. The pizza shop's manager said that he suspected the man had targeted the shop. The manager said, Those involved must have seen that as us giving them up. We are just trying to run our business and earn a living, and now my staff are too frightened to come to work. After watching this video, can you blame them? Number 14. Art Incident It's a shark, it's a duck, it's neither of those things at all. In September of 2017, YouTuber Jack Heath posted this video of an unidentified creature swimming in a river. He asks his audience to weigh in, saying his friends couldn't decide if it is a shark or a duck. The short clip shows a dark river at night, lights reflecting off the water. For a good 20 seconds, you can't see anything at all, although you can hear voices speculating on whether something unseen is a shark or a duck. That is, until this spooky ghost white creature nearly surfaces at the edge of the water. <laughs> it's a duck! I'm sorry. Oh, oh look, right stop squeezing it! <laughs> <laughs> it is exactly how it happens. <laughs> Doesn't look like a shark or a duck at all. As YouTuber Tweedle notes in the comments, his friends were obviously talking about what caused the wake in the water earlier in the clip, not this unidentified monster that briefly appears up close towards the end. Is a plesiosaurus or something like that? He writes, Though they're originally from a time period of many millions of years ago, so are alligators. They're thought to be extinct, but maybe they're not. After all, they wouldn't be the first creature thought to be extinct that's found to be still alive. While this might seem like a good guess, the OP mentions in the comments that the ghastly creature was just an eerily convincing art installation. Whoever thought art could make your heart stop? Number 13. Squatter An invasion of the home is violating enough, but what happens when the invader is a squatter? Posted by Slav Gavin to the Chills Narrator subreddit. This video was originally published to YouTube by Chino Sky Blue in April of 2017, who explains When I opened my front door, there was a girl squatting in my apartment. <laughs> I had been renting the apartment since March 1st, but had not been staying there. On Friday, April 14th, when I entered my apartment to retrieve some clothes, this was who was in my apartment. At the beginning of the video, the woman in question runs up to the man filming, saying she didn't know she wasn't supposed to be here. She asks if he's going to show anyone this video, and he responds that he's calling the authorities. As the man continues to film, the woman says she doesn't want to get caught up in this whatever that means, and claims she doesn't remember the previous night and just woke up here. She asks the man not to hold her there, but the man insists that she stay to explain to the authorities what's going on. She starts to panic, but he says he's not pressing charges against her. I want you to stay here for the police when the police do come, but listen, I'm recording everything. I'm, I'm giving you my word that I just want you to explain it to the police, but I'm not trying to press no charges against you. The only one he has a problem with is whoever has allowed her here. While the girl steps outside, claiming she doesn't know what's going on, 
That's where the video ends. We'd sure like an update on what happened after this, why this girl was squatting here, who let her in, and what happened as a result. But the channel hasn't posted any further videos. Does anyone have any idea what's going on here? Some in the comments think the man handled the situation well. Others suggest she's crazy and he should be more cautious with the situation. But YouTuber Macron 435 perhaps has the most interesting theory. He writes, Plot twist, that's her house. Number 12, the not so great escape. This is one for the books. Imagine planning your behind bars break via helicopter and actually succeeding. Sounds like something straight out of Mission Impossible, but that's what happened in Montreal when a man attempted to stage a helicopter escape from a detention center in March of 2013. The whole thing was caught on the center security camera, and the footage was posted to YouTube by the Montreal Gazette. Two of his men sprung their boss from behind bars for hiring a helicopter pilot for what they claimed would be a sightseeing tour. Once they'd taken off, one of these men ordered the pilot to land on the detention center roof to pick him up and another detainee, seen here trying to climb a rope. After successfully gathering everyone, the pilot was ordered to deliver them near the Estrell Hotel in St. Adele, where a getaway car was waiting. Fortunately for the authorities, the men were about as good at hiding out as they were at escaping, meaning pretty dumb at it. They were tracked down later the same day, and after a battle with the authorities, all four men were taken into custody. He had been awaiting trial after hiring a man who had been ordered to commit two life takings and two attempted life takings. In February of 2018, he was sentenced to life behind bars. Then later, an additional 16 years for his attempted high profile escape, considering him as high risk and attempting another escape. He will serve his sentence in a restrictive section of the jail that allows little interaction with others and little outside activity. It seems the mission was indeed impossible. Number 11. Possessed or not. If you saw someone in a window just standing and staring, what would you think? Would you consider it abnormal? Would you be concerned about their mental state? These Lithuanians saw this strange staring man as cause for concern when they posted this video to their YouTube channel, reposted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. By Martillo, the Redditor writes, Couple of Lithuanian YouTubers are driving with other couple friends around the city and they come across this strange guy in his apartment. They're saying that he maybe is possessed. The windows in the building across from the Lithuanian's car are all darkened, apart from one brightly lit window on the second floor. There stands a man appearing to stare out into the night, oddly still. Upon closer inspection, the man looks like he's rolling his head around before turning to the side and staring off again. He stares forward for a time, this having gone on for a solid minute, before turning around and switching off the light in his apartment, likely because he notices the men outside are shining their light up at his window, watching him. Martillo notes that although the men in the video are laughing, the image of someone staring out their window blankly is somewhat scary. He says the behavior is strange. Well, that may be so, you could argue the same for the behavior of the occupants of this car. Number 10. Coupler Riding In England, traveling on the outside of a tram has become a trend, with coupling taking that trend even further. The act is such a bad idea that Transport for Greater Manchester released CCTV footage of tram surfing to warn those doing it that they're taking things too far. According to the transport heads, dozens of incidents have been reported, including this incident caught on surveillance camera. The footage of a coupling unit, that is. A pair of people riding the outside of the tram at once shows just what tram drivers are having to deal with. The thrill seekers were seen coupling along the Altran tram line, riding the tram in this way at speed for around 10 minutes. Is this trend taking thrill-seeking too far? You decide. Authorities asked parents to talk with their kin about the risks of such travel trends and also encouraged passengers to alert authorities about any sightings of tram surfing or coupler riding. Number 9. Horsing Around Sometimes when you're horsing around on TikTok, you capture something you'd least expect. Shannon Brianna claims to have caught a ghost on camera. 
The clip shows an animated avatar doing a little dance, excited to go to bed, but watch this picture in the mirror. A shadow crosses its path, making the otherwise innocent scene wholly unnerving. Was someone in the room with Shannon? Was that a shadow figure or just a regular old ghost? Whatever it is, not sure if I'd be so excited to go to bed after seeing a creepy shadow across my bedroom wall. Number 8. Pranked Too Far Anyone who's ever pulled a prank knows that it can quickly go too far. No one more so than YouTuber Faze Rug. In a prank video posted in December of 2017, Faze Rug writes, Today I decided to do the scariest prank I've ever done, and we took it a little too far. She ended up crying, but the prank was a success. Just how scary was this prank? Well, imagine chatting and watching TV with your cousins when you hear a knock on your second floor balcony window. Ryan had climbed a ladder to the roof in order to pull off this prank, and it proved successful as his targets jumped in fear at the noise. But that wasn't the end of it. Ryan next shakes the handle of the balcony door in a frenzy, causing the trio to race from the room. He hops to another balcony, slamming on the door as well. New, the girl being pranked, then calls Ryan, asking where he is and telling him there's someone outside the home. Ryan! Oh. Ryan claims to be getting food and seemingly happy that he made New so distressed. He tells her they're on their way, donning a freaky mask. Ryan? What? Ryan, where are you? We're getting food, why? Ryan knocks on the window one last time before hopping to the opposite balcony and bursting through the door that they had previously unlocked. <laughs> Seeing the masked intruder reveal that he's actually their cousin, the boys laugh the prank off, but New looks clearly pretty upset about it. Would you be able to find this funny? Or would the stoking of your fear and adrenaline go too far? Number 7. Real Paranormal Activity When things go haywire in your own home, it's easy to jump to a paranormal conclusion, especially when there appears to be poltergeist activity. Posted to YouTube in January of 2012, the uploader explains, This is real footage taken at my house. As you can see the way the bottle moves, this is inhuman and impossible for a human to make a bottle move and gesture in these motions. This is totally real and scary. So if you are faint of heart, do not watch this please. This is video of real paranormal activity. In the video, the men enter the kitchen, where a bottle on the floor appears to be rolling around of its own accord. After they enter the room, it stops for a moment before spinning around again. It twirls on its side and then stands straight up on its base. One brave man picks it up and puts it on the kitchen counter, which is where the clip ends. YouTuber MRLWAP2 in the comments suggests there's helium in the plastic bottle, but most people are more alarmed by the zebra pattern cupboards than the so-called ghost. Jenny Chanel writes that zebra print would make even a plastic bottle want to escape a room. So is this a supernatural case or simply a case of terrible interior design? Only that soda bottle knows. Number 6. Haunted Store Not only do you have to worry about pyrotechnic incidents at work, you might have to worry about ghosts as well. YouTuber Joey Nike 12 posted this video of a store he claims is haunted in Kingsville. At the beginning of the video, he tells a co worker, Let's go record that room before heading to the haunted room in question. They set a video camera up to record the purportedly paranormal activity that occurs in this room. About three minutes into the footage, you can see a dustpan move ever so slightly, and then not ever so slightly. It falls over and a moment later, the door next to it slams closed.
The boys re-enter the room nonchalantly, not knowing the strangeness that has just occurred there. But after coming across this video that went too far, they may not want to enter this haunted storage room ever again. Number 5. Haunted House What would you do if you lived in a haunted house? YouTuber Charles Larita and The Mischief decided to film it. He posted this video in June of 2011, writing, My house is seriously haunted, and I'm still freaked out about this. In the video, he claims he always hears noises coming from his room, even when there's no one there. And while he's in his room, he feels a strange presence. After setting up a camera at night with the lights on, he discovered something strange around two hours into the footage. Here's what he found. The video shows a shot of the room, somewhat unfocused with a chest of drawers, a black guitar case leaning up against it, and a door. After a moment, the light on the chest of the drawers starts to shake back and forth slightly. Something falls off the top of the chest, and then the door to the left swings close with exactly no one in sight. Many in the comments are freaked out by this bizarre clip. With BTS Nelly Thickums writing, Move out of that house. Others agree they would have hightailed it out of that place. What would you do if this was your home? Number 4. Haunted Studio When you're laying down some beats alone at night, the last thing you want to see is a phantom specter drift past a window out of the corner of your eye. This video was posted by East Coast Radio's YouTube channel in October of 2013. In the description they write, in the middle of Shershin's late night show, the lights and desk shut down and a mysterious figure appeared in the studio area. This area is secured, nobody can get in it without fingerprint authorization, and shows no one entered the studio complex apart from Shershin himself. If we take the studio's word for it, you must admit that such events would be creepy, and when you watch the video itself, you feel even more unnerved. The shot shows Shershin at the mixing console, the lights dancing up and down the table, all the lights in the studio are on, a moment later they all shut off, apart from the computer monitors and emergency lights, darkness falls over the studio, Shershin picks up the phone to call someone and stands up. Watch the window off to his right, a dark hulking figure lurks past, which seems to alarm Shershan, as no one is supposed to be in the studio. He heads over to the window to get a better look before returning to the phone. The mysterious figure doesn't appear again. Well, likely not a phantom, as the mystery man looks too solid to be supernatural. What would an intruder be doing entering a studio at night, being that no theft was mentioned? It doesn't seem like burglary was the motive. And why did the lights go out? All very mysterious. Do you think you know what caused this? Number 3. Noises not of this world. Have you ever heard something in nature that doesn't sound natural at all? This video is cross-posted by Cursed Curses to the Chills Narrator subreddit, who thought these sounds were weird enough to share. Originally posted to What Is This by Sir M Sport, the Redditor explains that the strange sound seems to be originating from the woods and the sky surrounding his house in rural Georgia. He said although his phone ran out of battery, he heard the sounds long after the recording ends. The user asks the Reddit community for help in identifying the source of these sounds. After asking a few of his neighbors, who said they hadn't heard such noises before, one of these neighbors who lives on a hill said the sounds definitely seem to be coming directly from the sky. Listen closely. The noises sound like your regular high-speed traffic for a moment. But then another tone enters Zan, like a spaceship door opening. The murmur continues, oscillating slightly.
There are many theories in the comments, with Wolfish Fluff coming up with one of the most likely theories, suggesting that it sounds like a power plant or a generator farm. He notes the revving up sound could be the activation. He writes, My guess is that there is one of these facilities somewhere in your area, and the sound is coming from the sky because you're far enough away that basically the sound is bouncing off the atmosphere and then traveling to you. This would cause the muffling and the distortion. Other less likely theories include alligators unknown flying objects, or a big tunnel. Any other suggestions? What do you think these sounds may be? Number 2. Visit with Grandma. Things can get out of hand. This video reveals when people and things have gone just a little too far. Sometimes those darndest things send chills down our spine. This video will make you question the afterlife. Tariq Elite writes, A woman goes to her mother's grave to visit. Her little girl seems to be waving and talking to someone and even kisses them. What are you waving at, Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye. Tariq goes on to ask if it's true that they can see into spiritual realms. The video shows a sweet girl, likely not older than two, standing near a headstone waving. She appears to be looking up into the nothingness but seeing something. She greets the invisible specter, standing on the top of the grave to get a better look. She even reaches with one pointed finger before dismounting from the grave. Some in the comments suggest that the young girl's frequency hasn't been fully compromised yet by the earth, while others say that our ancestors are always with us. Do you agree? Are young ones able to visually access a frequency that we're not capable of reaching? This video seems to be proof that there really is something just beyond the veil. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous and to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Overflowing Auto Rickshaw Many drivers fill their cars, buses, and bikes to the brim, but when they go a little too far, it can make the roads unsafe for travel. This is one of those cases. In this CCTV footage, an overflowing auto rickshaw causes a vehicle crossing a narrow bridge to plummet off the side. The incident occurred in Orcha Town in India. Off balancing the car with its five passengers, although it appears everyone in the auto rickshaw was alright, the auto rickshaw was speeding over the bridge, where it impacted with the car. Despite the driver of the car attempting to avoid it, it didn't avoid toppling over the bridge into the water below. A moment later, two men can be seen trying to climb out of the submerging vehicle. One of these men had the foresight to grab the baby and try to give him to the onlookers overhead on the bridge. He wasn't safe yet. He fell back into the water and one of the men jumped in to save him. Thankfully, everyone made it out of the water as the spectators helped rescue them from the river. They were taken nearby for medical attention. Unfortunately, the culprit who caused this fled the scene. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!